is the most economic for the best of the world. The other thing is down in the forties, you can generally expect to get a missile before your current of one knot. So that's the passage. Auckland to Easter Island. But of course South America here, which is massively distorted. And Australia there, which is also very distorted. Yeah. This chart very useful for that, uh, laying off good circle tracks. And then a circle, something like, or an arc, something like this. And then uh, the weather forecast, of course, uh, we'll, be, we'll be getting weather maps all the way across. The weather fax machine will pick up the transmissions from, from here in New Zealand <coughs> all the way. So we'll get two or three of these maps every day. We'll be able to see what the pressure systems are doing. And that'll help us to make plans. And I'll show you the maps every day. And again, if you're not familiar with pressure systems or pressure charts, uh, we'll be uh, looking at those as well. I can do a little bit of uh, meteorology sessions with you as well. So, uh, okay, so what's left? We have uh, climbing off. We have uh, a little bit of training to do with everybody. Okay, hi, I'm Barry Nisbet, captain of the Soren Martian. I'm just going to talk about the forthcoming passage to Easter Island from Auckland. What I've got in front of me here is a mnemonic chart. This is a special projection that allows a great circle route to be depicted in a straight line on this chart. So if we lay the parallel rules down here, this will give us the shortest distance between Auckland and Easter Island. As you can see, the uh, initial course is taking us southeast, and the final course is taking us northeast. So we're not just following a single compass course all the way from. Auckland Easter Island, we're actually going to be following a range of compass courses and following a route which would look like a big arc on a Mercator chart. We'll be setting out, we'll be uh, rounding the East Cape and we'll be sailing down southeast until we get into the 40 to 50 degree latitude band, the Roaring Forties, where we can hope to pick up the best westerly winds and the, west and the east going currents that will take us across the Southern Ocean. And then when we get to the longitude of Easter Island, we'll be turning to the north and we'll be following a okay. route to take I'll us up to the again. correct latitude. <laughs> and that will be the shortest sailing ship route and give us the fastest passage. He's holding on the three points of contact the whole thing.